Hey guys, this is Jessica from Peterson SEO, and I came across your site when I was looking for restoration companies in your area, and um, I thought you guys might be interested in this video with a few tips that you can use right away that is going to help you start getting more organic leads. So as you can see, we're on your website, and the first thing I noticed is your website is not secured. Um, this is a big problem because this can allow your website to get hacked. Um, you could have your company's identity stolen. Um, there's a lot of terrible things that could happen and to try and restore it can cost thousands of dollars. So it is really important that you get your SSL certificate and get that website secured. Now, um, I'm on your website and it does it does look okay. Um, it looks like you have separate pages for each of your services, which is good. That's exactly what you need. Um, you do have some content. This is good as well. Um, looks like an attempt at some keyword usage, um, but I'm not seeing the repetition. Um, I'm not seeing anything about any service areas. So I don't know if you only service Hugo or St. Paul, White Bear Lake, if you do all of Minnesota. Um, there's just not enough information to know that. But if you're servicing areas outside of Hugo, you need to have separate page for every service area um, community that has any type of search volume for your services. Um, that way you can be found in those areas. Um, I am seeing interlinking between pages, so that's really good. That's important. Um, and so Google does not rank your website based on appearance. Um, they rank based on content. Content is key, and it's very important that you have a ton of content and that your con you have more content than your competitors. Google really likes a minimum of 1,000 to 1,500 words on your homepage or more if your competitors have more. Um, but that breaks down to 150 words for every keyword that you're trying to target. And those buyer intent location-based keywords are going to be the keywords people are actively searching for the services you're providing. More than likely, they may not know the name of your company. So they're going to be searching for the services that they actually need. And that's how you need to build your content is around those keywords. And the same goes for all of your um, back pages, service pages and service areas. Um, you, you still need to follow that 150 words for every keyword you're trying to target. So you definitely want to work on your content and keyword strategy. Um, Google uses um, little mini robots that go out there and search and index every single one of your pages, pulling your content and keywords so they can index those keywords to help you get found for your services. One of your top competitors in your service area is Rapid Restoration for Water Restorations. Um, they have a decent site. They have the separate pages um, for each of their services. They have separate pages for their service areas. Um, they have a little bit of content, but you can see here they are going for those buyer intent location-based keywords. Um, They got a little bit of content about each of their services, some keywords. Um, in order to beat these guys, you just need more content. Um, you're going to need more content and more pages if you have other service areas. And then you'll need some SEO to kind of back that content and help you to rank. Um, this is a program called AREFs, which helps us to analyze how your website is performing. As you can see, you have a 0.6 out of 100 in Google's trust flow, which means Google does not trust your website. And that is 100% 
based on your referring domains and backlinks. Um, 154 backlinks is a lot to have such a low score. So what that says is they're not all quality backlinks because not all backlinks are created equal. It is very important that you're getting the high authority backlinks and that you have more of those than your top competitors. You're currently only indexed for 37 keywords and you're only seeing on average 56 people to your website per month. So this just shows you that you are missing out on a considerable amount of volume because your website has not been optimized appropriately. Um, your website is what brings in 70% of your organic leads. So it is very critical that your website be optimized. When we look at your competitor, they only have a ranking of a six, yet they have over 1,270 backlinks. So again, this just shows you that not all backlinks are created equal. This is a lot of backlinks for such a poor score, which means that they have a large number of backlinks that are either no follows, are completely unrelated to their business, or are spam. And so it's actually hurting their scores. Um, but you are going to need more backlinks and better quality to beat these guys. Because these guys have more pages and content, they're indexed for over 2,400 keywords, and they're seeing over 1,700 people to their website every single month. So again, you can see the amount of volume that you are missing out on. Now, a backlink is when one website links to your website and then drives traffic to your website. Google likes this because it's like a popularity contest. So the more relevant your website, it, um, your backlink is to your website services, the more authority it's going to give you and the more power. So making sure that they are do follow backlinks so they share that power. And then also making sure your backlinks are tied to your keywords so that you can rank for those keywords and be found for your services. The last thing I want to mention is this Google Maps section or Google My Business page. Your goal should be to be in the top three of this section um, for each of your keywords and your service areas because 30% of people come directly to the maps and don't go any further. Um, so if you are not where you are here for Hugo and your other areas, you definitely want to get that optimized. And the biggest factor in doing so is citations, which is the name of your business, your address, phone number, and website. And having those in a variety of places like LinkedIn, Facebook, Dex, Yelp, etc. And so you're going to need a lot more of those than your top competitors. And when you apply all of these tips that I've shown you today, your website can be number one across Google in your service areas for all of your keywords. The purpose of this video is purely educational. However, if you do need help um, getting this stuff done, go ahead and give us a call at the number on the screen and we can chat. Thank you so much for watching and I look forward to hearing from you soon.